find out why this turtle loves magnets. And now, make some noise for your amazing host. Hey everyone, welcome to Sandals Church Kids. Here at Sandals Church, we're all about the vision of being real with ourselves, God, and others. I'm Joelle. And I'm Delon. In a second, we're going to jump into a Bible story, but first, we're going to watch a fun pre-show video and then jump into a time of worship and singing together. Let's get started. Okay, so we are playing another round of Pinpoint Picture. That's where we show you an object extremely close, where you can't tell what it is. Then you guys guess it, and we reveal what the answer is. You're Our right. first one, I bet you can't figure out what this image is. So take a look at our image right here. Right. What if I emphasize the word can? I can figure out what this image In is. In three, two, one. Cantaloupe. cantaloupe! That was a cantaloupe. It kind of looked like a maze that you could solve yourself. All right, Mr. Coyote, number two. Okay, number two, here is that picture for you. And here's the deal. If you were in New Zealand, you'd be able to guess this one. All right, do you guys think that you got it? It's a nickname for people in New Zealand. In three, two, one, the answer is... Kiwis. kiwis. The answer is kiwi. Check it out, that was a close up of a kiwi, which I feel like, could you take those tiny little black seeds and plant them and make a bunch of little kiwis? Like what I, would happen if you planted a kiwi? The kiwi grows wings and becomes a kiwi bird. Oh. So yeah, I they are one and the same. I didn't know that, that the kiwi actually turns into the kiwi bird. Correct. Yeah. Okay, take a look at number three. And let me ask you this. Who lives in a pineapple? Who lives in a pineapple? Who lives in a pineapple? Where? I feel like, if you, oh man, to survive, you'd have to be under the sea. Hmm, that makes sense. Pineapples under the sea makes If you the live in a pineapple, you'd probably ever. be yellow and you'd be porous. Mm, yes. Yeah. All yes. right, did you get our hints? I know it's pink, but the answer is sponge. sponge. Yes, that was a close up of a sponge. Well Good guessing. And a way to listen with your ears. Very spongy of, our, of you. Of our clues. This is Okay, this next one. Here is that image for you. And you know, this particular thing really, really enjoys, from my experience, just kind of lying around. In three, two, one, the answer is dandelion. dandelion. Ooh, the clue was dandelion, so lying around. Lion, yeah, Like yeah. that. Make a wish. Oh yeah, make a wish. Okay. Do, do, do. <laughs> okay guys, take a look at this one, and let me ask you, have you reached your boiling point? Your boiling point, eh? The answer is spaghetti. spaghetti. Those are spaghetti Ooh. noodles. If they were, they were kind of like at their, like the hard point before you put them in the boiling water and then they, they get onto the noodle phase. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. All right, we're halfway through and here is that next image for you. And you guys, I'm just gonna give you a warning. Don't let this one melt your brain. Or let it. <laughs> it's, the choice is yours. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. All right, so and the answer is Milk, Milk chocolate, chocolate bar. bar. The very <laughs> porous. Okay guys, take a look at this next one. I hope you guys have good eyesight. Let's see if you could chew on this one. Mm. Aren't you glad that you could guess it with me? What would a rabbit say? <laughs> <laughs> you wascally rabbit. All right, oh, and the answer man. is sliced, sliced carrot. carrot. That one might have been a little confusing because it was like the innards of a carrot. It wasn't right. the full thing. That is a close up a of slice. the sliced carrot. Our Delicious. next All pinpoint right. picture is this. And here's and your clue. They're great. What? <laughs> they're That's great. the clue? That's the clue. The clue is there. We're towards the end great. of the game, so I feel like these clues have gotten lazy. <laughs> yeah. But. What is the opposite of grape? Mm, a? JFK Airport. And the answer <laughs> is. Grapefruit. grapefruit. Yes. Some Did you of, guys? So grapefruits are pretty sour. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. learned a trick from grandma. Yeah. Every grandma ever. And I also have some friends that do this. You sprinkle sugar on top, and it makes the grapefruit sweet. How do we take something healthy and make it taste good? All right. Sugar. And second to last one. Here we go. I don't want you guys to get stuck on this one. Ooh, don't get stuck. Ooh. Blue. Combs. Comb your hair with this yeah. sticky treat. The answer is honey. honey. 
Mrs. Coyote, take us into the last one. All right, image number 10, here it is. This is the clue of all clues. This item here rhymes with rhyme. That's what I can tell you. What rhymes with the rhyme? The name of this thing rhymes with the Start word rhyme. Start rhyming things that rhyme with rhyme. Rhyme. Five. Crime. Dime. Climb. Five. Slime. Time. Ooh, that's time? Okay, let's yep, reveal the answer up, in three, answer is two, one. Lime. lime. Which is that the is super weird looking. Of lemon. That was a super weird, what? The opposite of lemon is shark. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for playing Pin Point Pictures. Bye. Bye. All right, friends, we're gonna jump into a time of worship together. This is a great opportunity for you to really think about God and also thank him for all he's done for you. Now is a chance for you to get real with yourself and with God. Maybe you had a difficult week or maybe something really cool happened this week. Take some time right now to think about everything that you had this week and lift up those thoughts and prayers and praises to God while we sing. While you worship, feel free to close your eyes, raise your hands, you might even want to dance around. How you want to worship God is up to you. Now, let's get ready to worship God together. In the darkness, you are righteous. Jesus, you are the rightful King. Never changing, never failing. You've never given up on me. You will take the throne.
Did you know that baby sea turtles can read the Earth's magnetic field? Okay, so first, baby sea turtles are born from eggs that have been laid on the beach. Now, right after they come out of their eggs, they crawl up and out of the sand and run as fast as their tiny little flippers can straight into the ocean. The amazing part is they always go the right way, always every single time. Now they're just babies. They've never even been taught how to go the right way. They haven't even met their moms and dads yet. They've never seen daylight or the ocean before, but they never get lost or go the wrong way. They always head straight for the ocean. So how do they do that? That's where the Earth's magnetic field comes in. The magnetic field covers the globe and is what makes magnets. It also is what makes our compasses work, so they always point north. Well, scientists discovered that one of the reasons baby sea turtles always go the right way is because they can somehow sense or feel the Earth's magnetic field. It's like they have a mini built-in map that tells them exactly where to go. There's something deep inside them that tells them the right way to go, and they follow it. 
So right now I want you guys to grab your piece of paper and I'm going to teach you guys how to draw a turtle. Grab a pencil, pen, crayon, whatever you want to draw with and let's start. So the first thing we're going to do is the turtle's shell. And what I want you guys to do is draw a half circle. All right. Draw that half circle and then I want you guys to draw a line at the bottom connecting the ends together. Now next we're just going to do the tail. On the left side, a little tail, perfect. And then we're going to do four rectangles and those are going to be the turtle's legs. All right, now let's give him some toes, just like that. Now we're going to draw the turtle's head. So follow along with me. There's the turtle's head. Now it needs some eyes and a smile. And we're going to do the shell kind of like a soccer ball. So draw these lines with me and then do some circles and there you have it. How did your guys' turtle turn out? Hopefully super great. I think mine looks pretty funny, kind of cute and I take it home as a pet. So baby sea turtles start their lives off in a situation that's kind of scary. They have to do something they've never ever done before. Sometimes life feels an awful lot like being a baby sea turtle that doesn't know where to go. But the awesome thing is that even when we don't know what to do, we can always depend on God to help us. We don't have to spend our time worrying. We can have peace by trusting that God will take care of us, just like he takes care of the baby turtles. All right, I want you guys to grab your Bibles. We're going to open to Matthew 6, chapter 25. Now, Matthew is the first book in the New Testament, and it's closer to the end of the Bible. In Matthew 6, 25, it says, So I tell you, don't worry about the food you need to live, and don't worry about the clothes you need for your body. Life is more important than food, and the body is more important than clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns but your heavenly Father feeds the birds. And you know that you are worth more than the birds. You cannot add any time to your life by worrying about it. It continues by saying, and why do you worry about clothes? Look at the flowers in the field. See how they grow. They don't work or make any clothes for themselves. But I tell you that even Solomon with his riches was not dressed as beautifully as one of these flowers. God clothes the grass in the field like that. The grass is living today, but tomorrow it's thrown into the fire to be burned. So you can be even more sure that God will clothe you. Don't have so little faith. Don't worry and say, what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear? All the people who don't know God keep trying to get these things and your Father in heaven knows that you need them. The things you should want most in God's kingdom is doing what God wants. Then all these other things you need will be given to you. So don't worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Tomorrow will have its own worries. Now I know that was a lot to hear. So stop for a minute and try to find as many things as possible that God takes care of. It might be the tree in your backyard, or your pet cat, or the flowers, or the grass, or the birds that are singing, or the stars in the sky. Actually, I want to make something with you right now. I want us to make a paper star together. So take that picture of the turtle that we drew, and right on the end, about the size of an adult finger, I want you guys to cut a strip of paper.
Okay. And now, don't worry, if you're following along, you need to pause it so you can catch up, that's fine too. But I'm gonna show you guys how to make a paper star. So now that we've cut out our piece of paper, I wanna actually write something encouraging on it. So we're gonna write, God takes care of us. Feel free to pause it if you need a second to write that, or maybe someone can help you. God takes care of us. All right, now I want you guys to make a knot at the end of one side of the paper. So you're gonna make a knot, kind of like a shoelace. I'll demonstrate for you. Now, be careful, you don't want the paper to rip. All right, now we're gonna press down, and you can see that there's five sides to it, which is basically a pentagon, okay? And then with the little extra tab here, I want you guys to fold it, all right? We're gonna fold it, and we're gonna tuck it in. All right, so now here's what our paper looks like. And now, here's where we wrote our message. I want you guys to wrap the rest of the paper around until there's only a little bit left, just a little bit. And then I want you guys to tuck the paper in And here is our quick star message. Now, at some point today, I want you to surprise someone in your family with this special message. You can put it on their pillow or in their pocket or on a chair or just find somewhere creative to put it. Or even, you know what, you could hand it to them directly. And I think they're gonna love the message that you wrote them. God takes care of everything. And he takes care of us too. He knows what we need even before we do. That's why when we feel worried, we can remind ourselves to count on Him. We can be real with ourselves by being honest about our worry and choosing to have peace instead. We have peace by trusting in God instead of worrying about what is happening around us. Today, I want to challenge you to pray about having peace instead of worry. It's okay to be honest about what you're feeling worried about. Tell God all about it. Then ask Him to give you the peace by helping you trust that He will take care of you. And next time you get worried, pray for peace again. In fact, I want to pray for you guys right now. So bow your heads and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this morning that we got to spend together. And I would pray that we would put our trust in you that we would know that we don't need to worry because you have a plan for us. We don't need to worry about our food or our clothes, and we don't need to be about worry about tomorrow because it will take care of itself. Help us to have faith and trust in you and to remember to put all our worries on you. We love you, Lord, and it's in Jesus' name I pray. And everyone says, amen. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys next time. how that verse is a challenge to hold tightly to faith and never doubt what God will do. So grab a piece of paper and write it down. Then see if you can place that paper somewhere that they will find it. Maybe on the fridge or under a pillow or even mail it to a friend. You guys, we have had so much fun today and you can watch more videos like this at sandalskids.tv or on youtube.com forward slash sandalskids. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at sandalskids so you always know what we're up to. Thanks so much for joining us today and we'll see you guys next time.